All right. We're going to be judging today if you're a hater or a lover of Tesla, but everybody loves to hate. But how do I know if you're a hater? Because you've never heard of Tesla's mega pack. That's probably why you're a hater. You only know the EVs or some Twitter. So let's get into it. The Tesla mega pack battery has emerged as a standout performer within the company's portfolio. During the Q4 and full year 2023 earnings call, Tesla executives emphasized that the growth of Tesla's energy storage business is projected to outpace that of its automotive division this year. This growth trajectory is largely attributed to the success of the Megapack battery. Tesla's flat. So it's going to be outpacing the EVs, guys, at one point. I don't think it'll be next year or this year, but it's going to be outpacing the EVs. Let's get into it. Let's get active. That's how I know you're a hater. Flagship energy storage product. Welcome to Tesla Global, the home of Tesla News. Subscribe for more. Let's get into the video. Designed for grid scale. Shout out to Tesla Global. Fair use. Projects. The Tesla Mega Pack is the company's largest energy storage system. Offered in two configurations. A two-hour version providing 1.9 MW of power and 3.9 MWH of energy and a four-hour variant delivering 1 MW of power and 3.9 MWH of energy. The Megapack has demonstrated significant success being deployed in notable projects such as the 182 MW 730 MWH installation in Moss Landing, California, and the 150 MW 300 MWH system in New South Wales, Australia. And that's megawatt for you guys in the background, megawatts. Pricing for the Mega Pack varies depending on installation charges. The two-hour variant is priced at two now eighty-one thousand sixty dollars with installation charges included, while the four-hour variant costs one vehicle eighteen sixty-five three seventy dollars. Without installation charges, the two-hour Mega Pack is priced at one ton B two who that's in seventy-eight eight eighty sixty, and the four-hour variant at one two net at twenty-seven now ninety dollars. Tesla estimates an annual maintenance cost of $18 and in $30 for the Mega Pack, with a 2% annual increase in cost. Currently, the Tesla Mega Pack is primarily manufactured at the Lathrop Mega Factory in California, with plans for another Mega Factory to be constructed in Shanghai this year. Recent drone flyovers conducted by Tesla watcher Met God in Wilderness. All right, hold on. Give it a second. Let's go down to the order because I don't know what the heck money he was talking. He was like, doop, blah, doop, blah, 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 blah. Let's go down here and go to the sheet, man. God dang, what was that ninja talking about? Here we go. All right, here goes the Mega Pack, right? So Mega Pack, how many quantities? Let's just go one because we're just trying to get some information about it, right? Two hour, right? Include installation, yes. Sites, California, whatever, right? Puerto Rico, oh. Let's go to Cali. So shout out to Cali. Estimated delivery time. Right, we could put here, whatever, right? Quarter five, 2025, quarter four, 2024, right? And two mil, two million, two million. And then you go ahead, non refundable is about a grand. An estimated annual maintenance is about 8,000, right? So there we go. With a price escalation of 2% per year, right? The company name whatever your company name is, installation address, and then they'll give you further details, right? So that there goes the information about it, right? And there goes the specifications and the difference between the two-hour duration and the four-hour duration. But let's kick it back, because when he was giving out the numbers, I was like, what is this guy talking about? So let's go back to the video. Let's get up out of here. Shout outs to that. Let's go down and go back to the video, and let's get back to active. Jeez. Wilderness revealed that the Lathrop Mega Factory is actively producing grid scale batteries at scale. During the flyover, a total of 326 Tesla Mega Packs were observed on the premises, estimated to be worth over 500 million. Given the Mega Pack's design for easy transport and installation, many of these batteries are expected to be delivered within the current quarter. Tesla. So that's about. 500 million. Now they say that the margins on there is 50%. So if that, that might be 250 million, but on those packs alone, but 
Continue. Energy experienced significant milestones in the past year with deployments witnessing a remarkable 125% increase compared to two nights. Ronnie Ware was a nurse who was working with terminally Why ill patients. Why does this guy keep showing it? And like, bro, I don't, stop. I don't like that guy. According to Tesla CFO Vibhav Taneja, the company's energy storage business also saw a rise in revenue. Taneja noted during the earnings call that the energy storage business is positioned to surpass the automotive division in terms of growth rate in 2024, reflecting the strategic groundwork laid by Tesla in building the mega factory in Lathrop. Redwood Materials breaks ground on 3.5B South Carolina battery plant. Redwood Materials, a joint venture between Tesla and Panasonic, has commenced construction on a new $3.5 billion battery plant in South Carolina, marking the company's second major facility. The groundbreaking ceremony for the battery materials facility in South Carolina took place recently, as announced by Morgan Kraps, Director of Public Affairs and Government Relations at Redwood Materials. Now, Redwood and this deal is going to be a joint venture, but net -net, we still have uh, the expansion in Shanghai, which is also going to be delivering our mega pack. So that's very interesting, too. So we have that going to be brought up online. I believe they just started the groundworks on that. And so in China, they build relatively very quick. So we'll be able to not only build when that's complete, the building stopped off, then we're going to have to scale. And that's going to take some time. But the best place to do it is in China. Exception. Straubel, who served as Tesla's chief technology officer until 2019, joined the automaker's board of directors in the previous year, further solidifying the ties between Tesla and Redwood Materials. Tesla has initiated a software update for select Model S, X, and Y vehicles to address a backup camera issue. So now he kind of hops into more information about, you know, Tesla and basically the car. But I want to kind of have us be or have us focused on an Omega Pack, right? So let's go to Omega Pack Tesla because this is the most interesting part, guys is not only just projects that have been done just in those places that he said, but I want to show you guys actual sites, right? Here we go. making it one of the largest battery installations in the USA. I mean, look at that, guys. That that looks amazing. I mean, that is the future right there. If anybody's saying that's not the future and that's not sexy and it's smarter to do some other crazy nonsense that we were doing, like, I, I, I don't know. There's so much unoccupied land in America, at least. And so net net, when we got a field that looks like this and we got the battery packs on deck, I mean, we're going to reach a time pretty shortly that and it's just going to be abundant. And guys, it's just more effective and efficient. Like I'm not even coming at fossil fuels in a bad way. It's just going to be more effective and a more efficient. That's it. That's the only way we need to come at this thing. It's just provide a better product. That's it. No need to say anything else. No need to take the moral high ground when it comes to ecology. It's just efficiency.
So by installing more renewable energy options, Home Electric is paving the way. Shout out to Home Electric out there in Alaska. That's it, guys. Look, look, these are the key words right here. Reliable, safe, and cost effective. That's it. That's it. It's nothing about snow monkeys and saving the cows. It's just about being more reliable, safe, cost effective. Shout out to Tesla. Doing it again, guys. And and it just and so when we are only talking about or I hear a hater only talking about Twitter or only talking about you name it. Daily news, right? What he said in the tweet I like, bro, I keep my mind on my money, money on the business, the buying on the business, because that's what I'm focused on, the underlining business. And I'm not even having a conversation about Tesla and cars. This is strictly battery gang. Let me let me go this. Let me, let me show you something. This is why you could say whatever you want to say about car games and the Hunger Games for cars, but net net, Mega Pack replaced a World War II turbojet generator. Like that's how outdated the electrical grid is. So damn the revolution of transportation. I'm talking about the revolution of energy. I'm like, look at this. The old generator was polluting and noisy. Skip the pollution because I know you're going to get up in arms. Okay, cool. It was noisy. And then look how old that shit is. Are we serious, guys? Is this what we're doing? So we got this company, the Soul Mega Pack, is the largest operating battery in the continent of Europe to date. Come on, guys. So 50 megawatts of power and 100 megawatts per hour of energy capacity. Come on. Boom. We did it again. I mean, like the list continues. I could continue to give you video back to back, but I don't want to hit you guys over the head with it too much, right? Shout outs to us. We're doing big things. Installation of 81 Tesla mega packs in Texas. Like quietly, the takeover is happening. Most of you guys are not even seeing this. Y'all not even plugged. Y'all talking about the damn cars. Y'all talking about cyber trucks. Y'all talking about Model 3, Model Y plaid and all this other nonsense but in february temperatures were hella low y'all remember that in 2021 in parts of texas lost power for three days but when we're putting these batteries in and we're solving a problem where temperatures can fall that but people would turn into us right tesla mega packs now provide support to the grid and we balance that and keep energy costs low and we keep your lights on. Come on, man. This is right here, John D. Rockefeller stuff right here. In case you guys didn't know, standard oil provided oil so people could have lights inside their homes. If you didn't know that, right? I'm going to show you two more videos and then we're headed out. So we're here, we're in Nevada, we're in 20 miles from Las Vegas, right? A town site solar and storage consisting of over 500,000 solar panels out there in Las Vegas. That sounds about a smart place, right? And 360 megawatts. Come on, man. 
generating more than 500,000 come on to service the local community in the electric cooperative powering 60,000 homes so 60,000 homes and avoiding well y'all don't care about the emissions of carbon dioxide so i can move past that and that's just the beginning i'm gonna show you one more thing guys one more thing and this is what i was saying the factory is being brought up online we have what uh, what we have in california but now we're bringing this factory out here in shanghai online so shout out to Wu Wa Tesla Shanghai Mega Pack battery plant has started construction. So the land out there is still kind of getting underway, but net net, we're going to be building that out. You know, in China, things are going to get done quickly. And so it's nothing but celebrations, right? Another fantastic day for capitalism, right? We're going to be changing the game. As you can see, the groundwork is getting started. Like, imagine once we start producing batteries and bringing those online. And these are being sold not only, guys, to straight companies, to customers, individuals, entities, companies, which is entities, also publics. This is being sold to governments. Like, people around the world need energy, Craig. I remember on Friday, he said, the world needs security. The world needs energy, Craig. Not just here. And it, in Texas or in America, the world, Craig. And so net net, we got a customer expanding beyond America, the whole world. And this is going to be very important for a lot of people securing energy. And it might not seem like a big problem to you, you mine, but it's a big problem for the world. Like big time. South Africa is one good example, right? Power going out in South Africa, power outage. That's what they call it down there in South Africa. Rolling, rolling, something like this. Like the stuff is getting worse. You guys might think it's all hunky dory because you live in America and you don't have to actually, you know, worry about it. But this week, a struggling state utility, ESCOM said it would extend its worst ever outages until further notice. The government announced on Thursday that it will take on a portion of ESCOM's debt. The utility company has been mired in financial crisis for years and is dependent on government bailouts. The National Treasury said at October's midterm budget that it could take on between one third and two thirds of ESCOM's over $23 billion debt to try to make the company financially viable. The stage six power cuts mean six to eight hours a day without power for most South Africans. And Look at that, guys. This is this is like real world stuff, right? And it's quite funny when wherever you are, you complain that you have issues. It's like South Africa's ain't got no energy. And shout out to America being so great in legal immigration because quite what makes it funny, the CEO of Mega Packs and Tesla is Elon Musk, and he came from South Africa. And require up to 6,000 megawatts of capacity to be shed from the national grid. They are a major source of public frustration with the governing African National Congress Party. Its support among voters is sliding. The power cuts are also a break on economic growth in Africa's most industrialized nation. ESCOM supplies the vast majority of South Africa's electricity, relying mainly on an aging fleet of coal-fired power stations that are unreliable and prone to faults. The country witnessed more than 200 days of power cuts in 2022, and the situation could get even worse in 2023. Guys, the majority of the time, these guys don't even have power, <laughs> right? 200 days is a lot. And we're talking about six, seven hours without power. I mean, like, we don't even know what that looks like. So shout outs to America for having an economy in a country where people like from South Africa, Elon Musk would want to come to America. And now he's creating these amazing battery packs for us in America and also going to provide them for the world. As you can see, there's a demand there. And South Africa is just one example.
And South Africa really needs it because, as the lady said, that country inside the continent is one of the most industrialist countries in the entire continent of Africa. And if they don't have power, then possibly, I, I don't know how this works, guys, but I think if they don't have power, it's going to be hard to provide industrial anything. Man, I'm telling you, I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the man who died, who gave that right to me. A fantastic day for capitalism. Thanks, Elon. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you decided to be here with us in USA. Everyone hates Tesla, but we're smarter than that. USA! USA!